No, I, I'm sure it's dangerous. Yeah, yeah, reveal. Good afternoon. <laughs> okay, we'll talk to oh, you. No, thank you. There. So first, we got some of the tow truck drivers' wives in on the joke. But the third guy doesn't have a wife, so we met up with his boss, who agreed to actually break into his car for us. Now, one of the tow truck drivers carries a gun, so we're putting a bulletproof vest on Cole. What if he's a headshot guy? Now, we're stealing the cars and driving it to a random location. He's at a bar looking for cars to tow. Hopefully, he didn't get a car. You nervous? Excited and nervous. I hope he gets like, it gets really crazy, but nothing bad happens. Yeah, I don't think anything no. bad. And now we're calling them for a tow. Hey, how's it going? My car broke down. I was just wondering if I can get a tow. Text me to pick up and drop off address. All right, man. I'll be here. Thanks, All right, we got it set in place. You can just have him uh, come pick it up. Yeah, he just sent you a call. Well, it's a Chevy Suburban. I guess the guy broke the key. All right, he's here, guys. He's here. Well, oh, there he is. How you doing? Cole, you're sketchy. You're a sketchy crackhead. You doing all right? Uh, Good. Johnny. Doing? Yeah. What's going on with it? You're trying to get it towed over to your cousin Randy's house. I just gotta get it uh, towed over to my cousin Randy's house. All right, Cole, you go ahead and pull, pull the cover off. Oh, this is gonna be great. <laughs> <laughs> he suspects nothing. Yeah, I just got this one recently and I'm just trying to sell it. Yeah, I've recently got it. I flip cars. He knows, he knows. He's hooking it up. Hooking up his own vehicle to the tow truck. Oh, he's looking at the dot in the back tire. Oh, he's sus right now. Uh, no, I, I don't got a key. I need to get a key. Here we go, here we go. He's got, look at the back. <laughs> I think there's a way. You can start it uh, right there if you hold the wires together. I don't no, care if it's... That. You know whose shirt that is in there? That gray hoodie right there? Yeah, that was mine actually. Yeah, yeah. Not. yes That's it is. Hoodie. Oh my gosh, look at him. This is my wife's car. Yo. Is this a joke? What is this joke? They stole my... Car, bro. What you talking about? Those are my wife's stickers on the back of this car. I couldn't get the key. It's not my car. I've had those on it for years. Say it could be yours for the right price. That's her plate, bro. No, I'll sell it for no, the right price. No. You know, I, I got I got money. Yeah, I can give it this to you for car. yeah, a thousand dollars. This is my car. It's mine. Yeah, I pay for you it have one month. just like it? This is my car. Five hundred dollars, you can have it. I pay five hundred a month for this car. This is my car. If you want, I'll call this is my wife's plate number. Those are the stickers she put on the back window. I'll go to a thousand. <laughs> That's a common car, actually. That's my name right there in the door. There's all the wires hanging out for it. Dude, that, I had to start. I couldn't find the key, well, but... Th explain this to the cops. Get They're out of my like car, please. <laughs> are you John? No, my brother's actually you're John. John. No, no. Your brother's John? Yes. The same no, address that's, that my license yeah. is to, huh? No, the same one? It's my car, homie. What do you got this car from, bro? Huh? What do you got this car from? I got this car like a month ago. Hello? Why is your car over here at Target? What do you mean? Where are you at? I'm at the house. Why is your car not at the house? I don't know. I'm looking at your car and this guy called me to show your car. Colt, insist it's your car now. This one's mine, sir. I'm calling the cops. All right. There's no reason to call, it's mine. My escalator. lady no, over here. This one, no, this is mine. That's how it came when I bought no, it. Bro, I'm not Around like this. $200, I'll get No, I'm telling you, you're going to f me up for stealing my wife's car. Cole, run around the car from him. There you go. <laughs> Alright, we got it, we got it. What should I do? <laughs> <laughs> Cole says, what should I do? No. Get out of here. Get the f out of here. I'm going to f go the car right now. No, get I. Get the f out of here. My get key open. was broke. He's going to tell it because it's his. Cole, try all the doors real quick. It won't try to get a ride with him. Be like, okay, so can you tow it to the place for me? Is he gonna be, can he just take it from there? He can just lift it and drive away? I think so, yeah. Hold on, he's probably- Hey, just jump in the tow truck. Yeah, get, yeah, get, get the passenger seat. Oh no, we got it. Yeah, 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 get it, get it, get it, get it. Okay, okay, okay. Can you take me to the truck? We gotta go. Cole, we don't want him going away. We need Cole, run over to the Sprinter. Really? Yeah, we'll have him reveal, reveal right here. We'll draw him to us. No, 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 wait, 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 wait. 
Sir, sir, come on, man. I already called the cops. Right, I'm sure this is right. dangerous. Yeah, yeah, reveal. Hey, 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 get out, get out, get out, get out, get out, get out. Tell him, tell him, tell him, you get out. All right, all right, we're gonna come on out. You're on a prank channel, your boss set you up. No way. Yeah, and your wife is in on it. Your boss set you up. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> dude. dude. Car, man. What's up, man? How you doing? <laughs> I know. Here's 500, 500. <laughs> we got you, bro. Oh, man. <laughs> we got you. Good job. Yeah, thanks. So she said you were being, everything's fine. Babe, come let on. Let him cool down. Just let him cool down. Hey, man. Thank you. Hey, man. Oh. Thank you. Uh, my bad, brother. <laughs> and the thing is, I'm just noticing now the ski mask. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that changed your way. Don't do this, because you know what I do I for a living? You I know, know what I carry? I have every dead right to put this in a box. Well, the cops are showing up. So it was a prank. <laughs> We're dressing as a bumblebee, riding a fancy bike, and going to annoy people having picnics at the park. It is so hard to ride this bike, especially with this bee costume on. If we can even get up on the bike, that's impressive. Oh, and it's a fancy bee too, because look, he has a top hat. I've been wanting to do this idea for five years and we finally have wow. the resources. I love it. That makes it so much better for me. I'm just kidding. Aww. I just saw this one. I want you to fall over into somebody having a picnic. So it's hard to even do it without a costume on, let alone with one. Good afternoon. Mom, why is there a bee? And why is there a big bike? And why is there a big wheel? And why is there a black guy with him? <laughs> <laughs> We're looking for the honeys. Can I get a high five? Oh, baby. Thank you. All right, Isaiah. You can't breathe. No, dude. <laughs> They're the only people I see having a picnic so far. <laughs> hey, he's better at it, I promise. He that was really go funny. That way. You don't have to yell, you have a mic on, dude. <laughs> I'm not talking to her. <laughs> yeah. Oh, God. Yeah. Oh. I think you get up. Let's go. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the oh, handlebars, bro. I already ordered another one because this is a piece of crap. Well, it's like $1,500 for one of these bikes. <laughs> Did the handlebar fall off while yeah. you yeah. doing it? Go pet that dog dressed as a bee. <laughs> Imagine he just falls out. Oh my God. I thought it was a bee. <laughs> I'm debating on having you run through the yoga people though. Is it that funny? You know what I mean? Yeah, like, you, you have to weigh how funny it is to how just like annoying and harassing it is. I feel like it's way funnier if you're on a bike, but if you're just being a stupid bee annoying, then it's like not that funny. Dang it, dude. There's so many people over there, but it's like, hey kid, I'll give you 20 bucks to touch all those wires. <laughs> Don't listen to him. <laughs> just kidding. That show. <laughs> He's a bad influence. Will you climb on the boat and then go down the slide? All right. If it's not, it's a liability. And Be careful, Mr. B. It's okay, he's an aquatic bee. He's amphibious. <laughs> aquatic bee. That was anticlimactic. <laughs> Jump off the top. Yeah! You alright? Those clothes get heavy in the water. Can you go off the boat right now? Off the boat. That was hilarious. Oh. We're going to see a whale that washed up on shore apparently. Dude, you can freaking see it. It's crazy. Holy crap. So windy out. On busy days at the beach, there's usually a couple of whales that wash up on shore. They like to sit in these uh, beach chairs and tan, and I hit on them and get their number. It's my favorite kind. Show, show real quick. Oh, it's crazy, bro. This doesn't really happen. That's so fun. I wish this would happen more. I want to swim out to it. Is it moving at all or is it dead? Oh yeah, it doesn't blow. Maybe will you follow me in there? Come. Hi. You guys got any good shots? Who are you with? I'm Ross with Ross Creations, Red Mike Media. Uh, okay. Yeah, get any good shots? Yeah. Yeah? Are you guys allowed to be over here? Yeah. Okay. You're very territorial. No, I'm just, I'm wondering <laughs> why this is, is, are you recording? Yeah, we're recording. Why? Same reason you are. There's a whale out here. <laughs> yeah, Hi. A whole different. Are you with the media crew? Okay. Okay. Live Who here. are you with? So, Red Mike Media, come this way. If you guys can see it over there, we yeah, wave right over there with everybody else. Oh, no, thank you. Well, I'm going to ask you to please stay. Well, I'm just 
gonna say no. Okay. How's your day going? Doing well. Good. Any? That's the guy you want to talk to right there. Hey. I'll talk to you, but we're gonna talk on the other side of the line, okay? Do I have to? Yes, sir, you do. Otherwise, what? Ticket or criminal? Sir, we don't want to argue. I'm with Red Mike Media. Okay, so let's go talk over here. I'll go with you. I'll talk. Do I have to? Yes, sir. Let's go. Or what? I'm giving you a lawful order at this point, okay? That's what I'm saying. This Am I going to get in trouble if I don't? Yes, sir, you will. But what's the trouble? Is it okay. criminal? We'll discuss it over here. All right, come on. Let's go. Is it criminal? If it's not criminal, then I'm good. No, let's just go there. We'll talk to oh, him. Oh, no, we'll thank you. We, this, I can is talk a, this is an area we're trying to keep people out. So what, I understand. What I'm with Red Mike Media. So for, with who? Red Mike Media. Red Mike Media. We're a news group. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. What, so what's the, where's the news group out of? Right here. Uh, with, with Venice? No. Okay. No, and located have, in Sarasota. Do you have any credentials or anything? No, do I need a press pass? No, you don't need a press pass. Okay. I just didn't know if you had any. No, I don't have any on me. Okay. So what I'll ask you to do then, if you're gonna you're gonna be with the media, that's that's what you're telling me? Yes. Okay. Then I want you to stay with the media right over there. That's the designated okay. spot. We're gonna leave the biologist alone. You can stay right there. Okay, is it criminal? Because I'll it, I'm it just I'm just asking people. Obstruction of justice. Okay? Obstruction. So we, don't, we don't want to go down that road. Okay. I won't obstruct anything. Okay. Great. If you don't want me inter interviewing them, then I won't. Okay. But, yeah. but if you are with the media, mm -hmm. I have no problem with you staying with the media over here. Okay. Okay. What's your name? I'm Ross. Ross. I'm yeah. Adam. Good to meet you, Adam. Okay. Come on over here, and I'll, I'll get you in the right spot. Okay. Um, I was just gonna stand over here. All right, Ross. Listen. I don't want to place you under arrest, okay? Oh, okay, you're going to if I don't. That's what I'm explaining Okay, to okay, so I'll okay. stand over here then. Okay, there we go, thank you. We're just gonna get you part of the media group over here. Okay. Right there. I have no problem with you staying right here. Do you okay. wanna, do you wanna speak with me? I'll speak Yeah, with yeah, you. please. When did the whale wash up that you guys are aware of? About seven o'clock this morning, mm -hmm. uh, a whale had stranded right here off of Venice Beach. Is the plan to push it back out, relocate it? What's the? It's not safe to actually go out there to the whale because of the waves, so once the weather starts to calm, then we will try and reassess and potentially try and get out there. But at this point, oh, okay. we are thinking that euthanasia will likely be the, the outcome of this. What kind of person would would uh, go out there to euthanize it if necessary? It would be a biologist or a veterinarian. Biologist. Yeah. Are there any other alternatives? But ultimately, at this point, no, we don't see any other alternatives. It's dying, I, I'm assuming? Yes, sir. So whales strand themselves for a variety of reasons. Um, we typically cannot determine what that reason is until after the fact, unfortunately. After it's euthanized, how do you bring it onto shore? or how do you get rid of it? What is the process for? We're not necessarily sure what the best uh, operation for that is. We're still trying to work out whether or not it will be brought onto shore or if it will be taken offshore and off-site to a different location. So dynamite it was. Adam, appreciate yes, you. Yep, all right, thank you. Get B-roll of the scene. You can film Show all me. you want. Just get over here, please. Yeah. Oh, I have permission yeah. to be here. Nah. Let me talk to you. Yeah, yeah. So they're thinking about euthanizing it. That's unfortunate. I'm Ross and you're watching Red Mike Media News for the whales. We need someone to volunteer to surf out there. You I wanna think, go out? Dude, my little freaking 120 pound thing, he's gonna hurt this thing. Me? You ain't 120 pounds. Maybe in high school. <laughs> It'll, it'll be towed far offshore. We put fake fortunes inside fortune cookies and then made them come true immediately. It's the newest video on realpranks.com. 80 plus videos, four other creators. It's $12. Go watch all the videos right now.